I'm the Alloy Geek, and in this episode, we're gonna talk about how to take the data from your Niton XL2 Plus and get it onto your computer. Now that's a really important step for many of you out there, and there's a couple of small hangups that you could be running into, but we're gonna go over today, so let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to plug the USB port right into the analyzer. So that's on the back side here. I've already done that for the sake of this video. Of course, the other side goes right into your computer here. I've got my laptop up here so I can show you guys kinda of how this is done. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go onto the computer. We don't actually have to do anything with our Niton XL2 once it's plugged in. I don't have to tell the unit I wanna export the data. Right now, all we're doing is going right to the computer. So let's take a look at my screen. In the computer, what we wanna find is this NDT software program. Not NDTR, but it's NDT. And it looks like this little gray gun for an icon. Now, if I double click this icon, it's gonna open up the software package. I'm gonna hit the download button here. And whatever you do, resist the temptation now to click that download button. We're not ready yet. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna check down in the lower right hand corner, connection status. Do you see the green symbol down there? That's really important. The green symbol tells us that we're connected. If this icon here is red, click the settings button in the bottom center and then make sure that your COM port is selected by, with this drop down. In my case, it is already. The analyzer is working fine and we have a green light. That's what you want to see. The next thing you want to make sure you do, you can hit that test button and it'll tell you, hey, hardware successfully communicating. So that's what that button does. Next, we're going to want to make sure to select the destination folder and do the file name. So uh, we have our destination folder in here already. I'm going to do the file name as test001 and we're going to query the readings for this analyzer. So now it's going to just pull the readings in and we're going to tell the computer what we want to download. So all the readings here can be selected with these different checkboxes. Um, I'm going to unselect them all right now and we're going to scroll down to the bottom. Let's go down here. We're going to take three readings that we did today and we are going to now download those readings. So now we're ready because we have a file name and always remember to pick a unique file name. It will default a lot of times XL2 and then the serial number of your instrument, but you need to put something in there that reminds you what that data actually means. The last thing you wanna do, I would always recommend simultaneous download to Microsoft Excel. That's what this checkbox is here at the bottom. That's gonna give you the ability to open a file in Excel versus just a file into the software package. And then we're gonna hit download. When it does that, you can see it takes no time at all, downloads all those files, and then we're gonna hit done. So now, what's gonna happen is our data is gonna pop up here and you'll notice at the bottom of my screen, this flashing. So we have this test 001 Excel spreadsheet. Great, I'm gonna close this. Um, that downloaded to the same destination as the NDT file that we just saved. And over here, we have all of our data on the Niton software, on the NDT software. So we can click around like clicking this little camera here that's gonna show us a picture of the sample surface. Where that's useful is you wanna make sure that you can recognize the sample. If you're just testing blank metal like I do a lot, you're not really gonna know what that means, except you can tell that I didn't miss the sample. That's really good coverage of the sample. You can tell that something is right up against the nose of the analyzer and that's what you wanna see. So um, that's a good way to check that. That data does not port over into the CSV file. So it's good to have both file types for that reason. And of course, you can view the elemental breakdown of the samples uh, along the way here. So that's pretty much it. Now you know how to download data, the data on your Niton XL2 Plus. It's pretty easy to do. If you'd like some more advanced training, Alloy Geek can work with you and we can teach you all sorts of tips and tricks and get your organization configured with your handheld XRF, regardless of brand. So if you're looking for some help, hey, maybe a guy left that used to manage it, or maybe you're struggling with things like just downloading the data, uh, be happy to come in and consult with you and teach you guys a few tricks and answer your questions either in person or virtually. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.